it's Jill with Crick Flex and I, um, Kelly, this is for you and I think Samantha, there's a few of you out there <clears throat> that really would like to see some um, scrapbooking done, but I have so much to do right now. I simply do not have the time. And now with two new grandbabies coming, I don't know if I'm ever going to have the time. I'll tell you what. But anyway, I'm working on 12 princesses. Um, I've got two of each of like Belle, Aurora. Um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of her name. Ariel, Snow White, and oh, Jasmine. And, but they're all different poses. And so I've got them all glittered on the front and the back. I outlined lined everything in glitter. But now what I'm going to be doing is putting this, she has this, this flowing on the bottom of her skirt like a ruffle. And that's where I'm going to put her ruffle only on the bottom where this is. I can see where it's at. Now, a lot of these, I've talked about these, these ruffles that I get um, online. And they do come from China. Um, but everybody wants me to share the site and I'm so sorry, but I don't know what the site is. And I even know less now because I had to buy a new, a new Mac and a new Air Mac, um, both of them. And I thought, boy, how could they gone out? You know, they're not, they're only five years old. Well, uh, I use them at least 10 hours a day, at least bare minimum. So I'm sure with everything I do on them. Um, one's in the doctor's right now. He just called me and I'm supposed to meet with them at 420 to go over if it's something that can be repaired. There's no speaker. Speakers don't work on it anymore. So I can't listen to my Netflix at night. So then I was listening to it on my iPad, but my iPad is so old that it won't hook up to my um, earbuds. And it's been just... So I said, you know, I need it anyway because I use it constantly. So I don't have a lot. Um, I probably have it if I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I still have history of where I even ordered the stuff. I don't care. Um, when I need it, I find it by <clears throat> describing what I'm looking for. And it's simple as that. I mean, it's not that difficult. I put in lace and, and brings me up a thousand places you can buy glaze trims so I don't really care if I and sometimes when I go in to buy it I'll already have an account and not even know it that just happened to me too with a what's it called a cash pal cash app because somebody ordered over my um, marketplace and I wanted to use cash app and I said I've never even heard of it but I said I'll download it because I've got PayPal and Venmo and all that and I said it's no big deal to me and I already had one, and I'd already used it and didn't even know it. So, that tells me that, guys, I actually, when I say I don't recall, I really don't. And it's not one of those things that somebody says, well, change it and add it when I do a video. Not going to do it. Um, number one, it takes more time. And number two, um, I took nine years figuring it out. So, I'm telling you, some of you have figured it out. I do not sell files. Somebody asked me if I sell files. No, I don't. I don't. And a lot of folks ask me, can I just do the printout and then make it and would it be cheaper? Um, the business that I do and the ha that I have is finished goods only. And I am not one to piecemeal. It, it is what it is. Um, it, it's not a good decision for me to uh, try and keep up making basically what it would be just different sizes of die cuts um and no i don't do that somebody asked me and i'm giving the answer now probably a day late and a dollar short but no i don't do that don't sell files um and <clears throat> if you're making great big pieces just kind of a little hint to you guys if you're making the two foot pieces um and you have a printer that will do it you can cut them out by hand. The big ones aren't that hard. I I have cut some out by hand um, when my machine is on the fritz or when I'm having trouble and I've, I've got deadlines to meet, so I'll cut them out by hand. That is not that big a deal, and you could decorate them and everything. Um, the biggest thing is, is you have to have a 12-inch printer in order to do it. And if you don't have a 12-inch printer, don't even bother 
There we go, got the ruffle on there. And all I did is I went back and forth and back and forth all the way to the end. But here at the top, I don't like what the way it's trimmed out. So I took a really thin cotton kind of crocheted lace and I'm gonna trim it out at the top here so it looks a little more finished off. Okay, here we go back again to the um, telling people what they can do. I, I do not recommend anybody because I've had people do it and then I hear back and they, they say they haven't even unpacked their stuff. Don't go out and say, I'm going to go buy a printer and I'm going to go buy one of those machines and I'm going to go buy this and buy that and I'm going to do this. Because a lot of you have found to sit down and actually do it is not like watching a video. Um, and I always think to myself, oh, anybody can do this. It's really easy. Then I started at helping my daughter with gnomes, making the gnomes. And her technique to get them to look the way that they look is because of the way she makes them. And so she has her techniques. And yes, I can learn it because I already know how to do all this stuff. But in the beginning when I was doing them, I couldn't just look at it um, and figure out how she did it and come out the same the same way. I could have made one without looking at hers, but they wouldn't have been the same. So it's kind of like with the stuff that I make. Um, if you have that in your head, you know, how, how would I put that? Um, um, the creative part of you, you know how to do that stuff. You should be able to tell and figure it out. And again, with as far as um, ordering um, the laces and st stuff like that, just do Google searches. It'll take you to a thousand places. This one, I put tulle on the front of her skirt going to the side and the darker tulle to match. And then there's a little a little rosette in the center or a little flower. Again, I've got these jars of flowers that I, or, that I ordered online. Don't know where. Not going to try and find out. And I'm going to do the same thing on her. But do I want to do the same lace or do I want to grab another one? I'm going to check and see if this one will work that's a little bit wider, but it may still work. I'm looking at all my white laces that I have. And oh, do I hate getting glue on my fingers. Um, figuring out where I stuck this, I think. I'm probably going to have to wrap it differently because I'm using a lot longer one. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. No guts, no glory, guys. Just go for it. All of my, all of my pieces that I'm doing, working on right now are all printed and put together and glittered. So what I do typically to make things go smoother is when I'm working on a project or numerous at the same time, I do all the printing and cutting. And I just pile it all up. And when I have time to sit down to do all the embellishments, that's when I do them. Um, and it works for me. It works great, actually, guys. I've got piles of stuff that's all assembled. So it makes it so easy for me when I get overwhelmed, when I look and think, you know what? I've got almost all of this done. This is one of them, because this was a total of 13 centerpieces. And I got another one there that's a total of nine centerpieces. And if I'm not prepared, it can take a while. So I like to be prepared. And I probably didn't have to put quite as much lace on this because it's longer. So I think I'm just going to go one more time down here and back and be done on her. I know what I was thinking of doing. I'll do it on the next one. I'm going to put a little ruffle at the bottom of the skirt. I'm sure she won't be offended. Oh. Let's see here. Yep, going to do one last piece down here and then her other side and we'll be done. Um, what else is new? I'm going to find out on Saturday what the gender is of my one of my new grandbabies. The other ones I won't find out. They never find out. I find out up in the hospital when she's giving birth. Um, but I'm going to find out one, and, and I'm not telling. I'm sworn to secrecy. My son called me last night, and he said the reason he didn't like to tell me is because I tell everybody. <laughs> you know, tell me not to tell anybody. I will tell everybody. So, guys, this is going to be secret. I'm not going to tell, because I told him I wouldn't, and I'm going to keep my word. 
but I'm going to know on Saturday in a couple days. Um, Jenna is in her entering her six month and Kiki is entering her no, Jenna's entering month five? No, she is. She's at the end of month five and Kiki's at the end of month four. Before I have two brand new grandbabies. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. Maybe I should pick the glow off my nails when I'm all done. Okay. I've decided um, that I'm a klutz. Um, what did I decide that I was just going to say? I decided. Oh, I was going to order all the Nouveau um, glitters because I am, it's so hard to get some of the colors are always out. Like they still don't have gun smoke in for the stickles. Um, <laughs> missed the bag completely. But I don't think I like the Nouveau anywhere near as well as the stickles. So I don't think I'm going to order any more. I like the stickles too much. And oh, and I wanted to mention when I went and ordered my computer, I had forgotten that I a long time ago was putting some papers, uh, the 12 by 12 sheets of paper, 80 pound weight, that used to be basil that was sold out and they still sell it at, they used to have 100 sheets at HSN for $19.95. Then it went up, which I'm sure it's, it's demand guys, the prices are driven by demand and the prices doubled. Well, when I went to order, I got my laptop on HSN. Um, I use HSN and, and Amazon a lot. Uh, and Overstock. You can name a whole bunch more that I use way too much. But anyway, I, I didn't empty my basket out of the paper. I had it in there when I checked out and didn't even notice. So yesterday it came and I'm looking and going, oh man, I didn't need this paper. Now we've got all this 12 by 12 inch paper that I really don't use. I'll probably use it for scrapbooking when I'm trying to do um, die cuts. I'll try and remember and do it on that paper because it doesn't need to be as thick. And the 12 by 18 that I get at Staples is really, really heavy. Somebody asked me um, if she's watching. I hope to answer her question because I didn't answer it on, on YouTube. She asked me why I use popsicle sticks. Well, I guess... The, the simple answer is that if I didn't use popsicle sticks between the layers of these things that I make, they would not stand on their own. They would double over because they're paper. And try and put two pieces of paper together and get them to stand. It's not going to happen. So you have to put popsicle sticks. It isn't even an option. Or some sort of wood. You have to. Um, I've had people ask me sometimes when they look at my pieces, they think they're wood. They're not wood. Those of you that have been watching me for a long time know they're paper. Everything I do is out of paper. Um, what other tips do I have? We're having an open house in two weeks at Amy's house. Um, so we're trying to put together, Kiki's working on a bunch of wood signs. Really, really cute. I think I'm going to put pearls on this one on the edge. I think I am. I'm going to go with pearls to top off hers. This has got wire on it. Do I like that? Or maybe I'm going to do, hmm. Maybe I'll do these. No. I don't want to do those. Let me see if there's something else that I might want to do. Let me take a look here and see what I have for, for pearls. Oh, here's a, here's a nice here's a nice fitting right here. Can't finish. This is a uh, lace with some pearls on it. I'm going to use that to finish off the top of her dress. Um can't remember what else I was going to say. Anyway, the paper did come. They do have it. If anybody has been buying from them, and I keep saying to everybody, it's, they're out, they're out, they're out. Um, they went up in price, which I would have never, ever ordered them because they're $29.95, I think, for $60, when it used to be $19.95 for $100. That is how much. And I know the reason that the price went up so much is because how many people buy it now. I mean, everybody, the businesses... A lot of businesses run on, on demand and their prices are driven because, well, number one, that's how they make the money is because they know all the people are buying it 
and make a little more money, they up the price. I did the other lace on the other side. Why didn't somebody tell me that? I got to do two of them. Um, and it's good paper for scrapbooking if you're going to print and cut any of your uh, die cuts or any of you, anything that you're going to use on your scrapbook pages. It's really, really good paper. It's what I used to always use. But once I found this heavier one, it staples. I pretty much stopped using the 12 by 12. However, I now have a case that I hadn't even opened yet sitting somewhere in here. Another case that came in yesterday that I accidentally didn't take out of my, my um, shopping cart. That's how sometimes my daughter ends up with me uh, checking out. She's got, we use, we all share the Amazon and I check out a lot of times and she's got stuff in the cart and I don't notice so it comes to me. There we have her with that little bit of lace. I'm gonna put her over here. Whoops, sorry about that, Cinderella. And let me see what I'm gonna do on her. Um, I want white again and I'm gonna have it below here and here. But I do want white or, no it is white there, so I want to have white. Let me grab a different white. We're going to use this white. Um, and you see me pulling all of these, these um, packages or whatever box, uh, rolls of lace out is because I have literally been collecting and investing in my business for years. So I didn't go out this and buy, won't buy all this stuff over the weekend because again I know that folks get really misled as to what the expense is all they see is is um vision is selling something um I'm really really leaning towards uh making my business grow using the vials from Dig Divine Digital Diva and all the things that we are going to add to the shop, such as the gnomes that are in my shop now, and doing more of our own design, um, things of our own, uh, I want to get away from this. And as much as I can anyway. Uh, let me see if I can fold that one backwards and come down. And I think I can. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna keep it up top. I don't want it to fold over the edge so much like that last one. So, oops, it's glued down there and I'm tearing it up. Okay, I should have unraveled that a little bit. Oops, wrong way, Not the wrong way on that one. There we go, we've got that for her and I'm gonna trim it off right here. here. My scissors aren't working that good, but the new ones that I got, I don't really like for small things. They're too big. And I buy scissors and I set one aside that's gonna be just for fabric. And then I get lazy when I'm working on something, I grab and use whatever's closest to me. Next thing you know, I don't have fabric scissors anymore because I ruined them cutting wire or whatever. This is very hard on scissors, <laughs> at least with me doing it. Now, that one's on the front wrapped, but when I wrapped it here, I turned it around. And so this is the back side of the lace, and it's got a little bit of lace in front of it. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to cut a small piece and lay it on top so I have the front of the lace showing. And it makes it a little bit fuller. You don't have to do this. This is not. This is an option. Um, I lost the grip in my gun. I um, fell out and I couldn't get it back in. So it doesn't grip my glue um, when I put a new stick in. So I have to shove it in there and it's a pain. Now on this one, I'm gonna start by folding this back on the very tip so that the edges under and more finished looking. And then I'm gonna stick it there. There we go. 
And let me do this side. Okay. Please don't. Sometimes my glue melts. In the, I don't know if anybody has the shoe line gone. Do you ever have a problem where your glue melts into the the channel where the, the glue stick goes? I don't know why it does that. It's just sometimes it, it's got a great big glob and I've got to take a pair of scissors or knife or whatever and dig it out because your, your glue won't go through if it's if it's stuck in there. It, it completely shuts that passage off. Okay, this one is going to go off the board because I'm going to need more of this and it's not enough left for me to keep it on one of those big boards. Okay, I'm going to go back this way. This isn't that easy either. It's kind of a pain. Anything that I have to do with hot glue is a pain. I mean, literally a pain. My fingers always hurt. Okay. My daughter, though, um, finally yesterday found a college girl that happens to be the cousin to my daughter-in-law who was looking for a part-time job. And so she's going to be taking babysitting for my daughter so she can get, she's in her real estate and this is really busy time of the year for her. Plus she's got the gnomes coming out the nose. Um, she put one up yesterday or this morning that the little gnome is drinking a cup. He's got his mug. I don't know if it's um, supposed to be like St. Patty's Day and, uh, and it's something for that or just a coffee drinker. But um, she put it up, and within 10 minutes, she had four orders on them. Um, she's that gnome business. I keep telling her, stick to your gnomes. And her husband's saying, that's going to go away. Stick. You need to invest your time in your real estate. I said, yeah, she does. But it's hard with four kids, or four kids, six kids, four little ones, and six all together. It's not easy. It is not easy, and I'm thinking this fall I'm going to have four, three, four, five, five, with Kiki and Adam's baby, I'm going to have five under the age of three on Fridays. The other days I'm going to have two babies, two. I'm thinking two, that Fridays I'll have five under the age of three. Four. No, he'll be in, I don't know. Guys, I'm just talking. There we got the front of her. And you know what? I'm going to shut this off until I get back to, to some of them. So you don't have to sit and watch me do 12 of these princesses. So I will be back and pick up when I get close to the end. Thanks a lot. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. I'm back. I'm going to make this very, 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 very quick. Um, I got all almost, almost all of the the princesses done already, um, but I just decided I was going to do the last one on film, and I'm looking to see in my collection of tool. Again, I, I even get these these huge. Um, well, they're not huge. They're the good size packages of tool that I get on um, another from China. Don't know where, all I know is it's from China. Then I'm gonna kind of go over and let you know what I did on each one of my princesses that, that um, uh, just that I did, that I think is cute. And I've got fur all over. I'm just gonna cut some pieces of tool here. Um, this tool that I do get, if you go on um, and do an Amazon search, yeah, it was Amazon that I did, and, and it pulled up um, this package is sort of dirt cheap, and I think there's like I don't know. I'm looking in that bin. There must be 30 colors in there. I'm not. I'm not sure. I never counted them, but they're different shades of pink. And di well, different shades of every color, and I really like them for that reason. And I'm going to see how I'm going to. Uh, attach that and I don't like them they're not quite long enough so I'm gonna cut a couple more make them a little trying to make them a little bit different than I did on 
Cinderella earlier. Oops, just dropped that. Ugh, roll all over. Um, my husband just went to high school basketball game with my son, two, both my sons actually, and my son-in-law, and I don't know who else went, but um, I don't know what, what the big thing, I think it was because this high school was doing really well, one of the leading, um, in what I, I mean, I don't know if it's state, we're getting towards that time of state tournament, I do believe. Um, I'm not real sure though. Uh, another thing is that I said I was going to include or tell you or include, and I don't remember what it was. I was telling earlier about my, my laptop and my iMac both going out at the same time. Well, they called me about my, we had an appointment today to go back in. By the way, anybody that has Apple, um, one of the biggest pains in the butt with having an Apple is the fact that you have to go to the Apple store by appointment only to have anything serviced. And you go into the store and you don't have an appointment, like even shopping, um, the, the crowds just, to me, are too much. I can't stand it. So I never go there. But I found out Best Buy is certified now. Their, their Geek Squad is certified for Apple. That's why I ended up taking it there. However, I went out and got a new one anyway because I... Why did I get a new one? I don't know why before finding out. It was because I was pretty much pretty sure that um, I was going to have an issue with it anyway. It's five years old and again, I put more, I put more on my computers, miles on my computers and people doing their cars. It's awful. But um, they can't be fixed. So I decided um, that I was going to give it to my granddaughter. So I asked my daughter, she said, oh yeah, she'd love it. And I said, okay, remember though, it doesn't have speakers. My one daughter said, why would they even use a computer? Why would they even use it if it didn't have speakers? And I said, well, you know, you can type on them. You can go on the internet. There's all sorts of things you can do that you don't have to hear. But their big thing is um, YouTube and Snapchat. She got a phone to do that, so I don't know. We'll see, but I got to clean all my stuff off of it before I send it over there, send it over to her. But I was kind of bummed that it wasn't fixable, even though I'd gotten a new one. I still was hoping that I could resurrect that one so when they, my grandkids come over, I don't like them playing with my my um, equipment at all. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting this stuff all over me. I'm just putting this up. This pink happens to match perfect. Uh, this pink matches perfect, the pink in her dress. So, I do like that. And I am just gluing it down. And then, as I go down where I want it attached, I'm just putting a light amount of glue because I don't want my tool showing all sorts of glue spots on it. So I'm just putting down a light, just enough to catch the, um, the way this is crunched up, it catches it from the bottom, just so that it stays kind of nice for me. Just kind of nice, not great nice, just kind of. Um, anyway, they all went to the game and I am here by myself and I was so hoping that my daughter wasn't going to ask me to do something or uh, hang out or whatever because I just, I don't get much time by myself, guys. Believe it or not, retired and still don't have too much of me time. So, even though this isn't me time, I am filming without a kid running in and I'm filming without a husband running in and, uh interruptions on my phone because I turned my phone off. Although I've been trying to get hold of my daughter. She had a showing today and writing up an offer on a house and had to run. I was going to come right back to give me the details, but she's it's getting to that time of the year where she gets pretty busy. Um, she found a babysitter, which I think I mentioned in the first part for, for the kids. 
thankfully, because tomorrow it was going to be me, and I was going to have five of them under the age of four, and I wasn't really, like, super excited about that. I adore my grandkids, but i got to keep in mind, I have my grandkids all the time, so, yeah, I'm not by me being mean when I say no, I don't want to babysit because I have them every day. And my wastebasket is... <laughs> My wastebasket isn't over there, but my trash is. I throw my trash over the patch, not realizing I have two wastebaskets in here. This is, my husband was in here looking for staples last night. He said, do you got any staples? And he came in here looking for them. And he, he gave me some really, really, not dirty looks, but I could hear his head shaking um, because he was, he said, you got things this uh, you know like tool over here in these can't this rack and then I've got tool over there in that rack and when my drawers are the same way I've got and I tell him but he doesn't understand and a man will never understand especially a woman who collects things when I reorganize my office because it's getting overly messy which I do frequently um I it's just like with groceries. When I put things away, he practically alphabetizes. Um, when he buys, he does all the grocery shopping. But I had to do a lot of that when he after he had a surgery. And my way of putting away groceries is you put it where it fits. His way of putting groceries away is if it doesn't fit where it goes, like putting a book away in the library. If it doesn't fit where it goes, arrange it so it does. Well, I don't do that. If it doesn't fit, I make it fit. And so nothing's ever in the right place, and it drives him insane. And I just laugh because I've been like that all of my life, and all our 45, 46, however many years that we've been married, I don't know, it's been forever. I've always been like that. And I can't, I don't understand how he thinks it's going to change. But, um, then when I was looking for these staples for him, in my head and in my eyes, I can see the staples. I can see the box. It's blue with a red outline. I can see it perfect. So I know it's something that I see all the time. And I don't know where. <laughs> I have no idea where I've been seeing these staples. I got a little tiny piece of that brown fur stuck in here inside this tool. My finger will fit in there. Something. I'm just trying to grab it. Tweezers probably would have been better than scissors, but got it. Oh, and I just brought it back. The static electricity is horrible. And we put, we got a new April air. I don't know what, I think it's April air put in last year because um, the dryness was, you know, just awful. And I still have so much static. Um, I'm always telling him to check it and make sure it's at the level it's supposed to be. And, and I don't know if I told him to check it lately here. My daughter made me have the radon checked in the house. And the radon was high. So she made me have a... She, I think I told this one before she made an appointment and everything. Um, to have to have them come in here and put in a system. And uh, a couple thousand dollars later, I've got a radon system that... I had no idea I even needed, and I've been in, you know, been in this house, and I think I'm perfectly healthy, but since I take care of my grandkids, my daughter felt that it was a big need that, and she's probably right. She said, if you ever sell the house, um, you would, if the, then it would have, it get written out, I mean, it wouldn't pass inspection anyway. She said, you'd have to have it fixed, because I guess now, now they checked that when we bought the house. It was just built, and I don't remember ever, I don't remember anything that far ago. But um, I told her it wouldn't have been my problem anyway, because as long as I'm alive and know what's going on, I'm not, I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm staying where I'm at. My mother probably thought that too. You know, that really makes me feel bad about with my mother when I think about when she did know where she was at and got moved. How horrible feeling that would be to be uprooted. I'm going to carry that kind of guilt to my, to my grave, guys. 
I will never not feel bad um, for my for my mother and the way she has had to spend the last few years. I feel horrible, but nothing I can do about it, guys. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, okay. I want a little bow on this one. She's got a little starfish in her hand that is gold. So I'm going to pick a little gold flower to put in the middle of her dress. Just because. And put that on one on this side. And then what I'm going to do. He's got little gems inside of them too. I can see some little spots of glue that I don't like. Diet Dr. Pepper, the best, if you like soda. I'm going to, and I'm sorry guys for having to take a sip here and there, but my mouth is extremely on fire tonight. So I am going to take, and you can buy a tool that actually has um, colors and gold and things like that in it not going to be at all like what I'm doing. I'm just going to go through and put some stickles, gold dots, through the tool. Just because I want to cover if there was any of the glue that was holding it down, plus to help hold it. Um, with the stickles, it stickles glue so by putting a few stickle dots on here, the pieces, how it's folded, will stick together because that will, will soak through and stick to the pieces it's laying upon. So, oh my, I'm liking that. Um, again, what I did, is I put some little dots, flecks of gold in her gown. Um, I didn't want, I now I can't even see where it was. I think it was right here. There was a spot that you could see through the tool, the glue, and I didn't want that. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And I see one spot of glue right here. So I'm going to put some stickles on it and again um, when I'm putting this on the tool I'm putting the tip of the stickles really down on top of the tool real well because I want it to soak through the layer that it's that's right below it because the way that I rolled these up the there it falls in layers and I can't lay it down guys because I have glue on the other side but what I'm going to do here is I need to have that stick one piece kind of bounced up on me so I'm going to put a little glue there to hold it down and that will be another dot of gold but you can buy the tool that has the gold dots in it I don't know if they're if dots like what I'm doing, but I have some of it. I just don't use it that much because when I when I start to mess with it, it, it uh, it's real messy because nothing's stuck to it very good. And I don't like to use it because it, it just makes a mess. Like I'm not making a big enough mess now. Well, I haven't messed up any on that side. And I think I'm good on this side. Okay, few more drops, and I'm going to go right on top of where I put that little blob of glue, because again, I don't want you to be able to see. On the darker colors, it's a little easier. For some reason, you would think it'd be just the opposite, because if it was the dark, the glue would... I shouldn't say the dark. There are so, some colors that you can't see it, and maybe it's the the density of the tool that I'm working with that could have a lot to do with it. 
because some of the tools are a lot softer. And this is a very, very soft one. And it looks like I'm putting a lot on guys, but I'm really not. It's just that I'm trying to strategically lay them out. Okay. Yes, that one um, is, let's see if I have another base here. Oh my gosh, the number of bases I go through is unbelievable. Okay, there she goes. And let me see what we're going to do with the next one. Ooh, boy, have I got glue running on her. Oh well, I'll leave that to my, my husband and... Oh, yeah. I do. I like that, guys. I think that looks cute. Um, let me see. This one, what I think I'm going to do on her. Um, one of the pieces was made bigger. She's 20. Those were supposed to be 12. Those are, I made those 15 inches and I made her 18. That's what it is. Um, for one particular table, this belt is 18. I don't know how I ended up making three jasmine, but I did. And I have two. There's two bells. There's two Cinderella's. There's two Ariel's. There's one Snow White. No. Yep, there's only one. Nope, two Snow Whites. Okay, two Snow Whites. So, okay, I know why. I know why. Because when I order the 13th, is the okay. Um, on this one, I'm not going to add any tool to her because there really isn't any place. This I could do all tool, but I don't want to do that. Um, her sitting on the bench, she's got glossy accents in her eyes and on her mouth. I love it when it's really, really good prints. Some of these print out just amazing. And when they do, um, that the glossy accent that I put on, put on the mouth and in the eyes, it's just, I love the look, the look. And I am going to put, and see if I have another turquoise here in my bling, because I would like to, and I don't. Well... And maybe I do in here. No, I wanted a big one, so it doesn't matter if they're in here. Okay. So, I don't have a tear or anything. I've got a round one, which is going to go in her gem up on the top of her head. Okay, I'm going to put one piece there. And I'm going to put one piece on the other side. And I want every single one of these to have something different with the finishing. So on this one, I'm going to use this gold trim. It's actually elastic. However, I don't want to pull it because I want it to stay dense. And I'm going to go around the stool that she sits on. So, and I don't want... I don't know what I want to. There's something I don't want to, guys. When it comes back to me, tell me what I don't want to. Something that I was heading to say. Okay. I might have to go back and cut this one and make it a shorter fringe. And actually, I think that's what I'm going to do so it doesn't hang so long. Okay. Cut this off here. And guys, come on, let me straighten this out and let me think. I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to probably have to lay this down and cut, cut it. It's like cut hair. Maybe. Okay. Yep, definitely needed to be cut off. Oh, much better without the loop. I like it better. Okay. And I could have cut it before I put it on. 
but I think it's easier to tell where I want to cut it. Yeah, I cut this so it doesn't loop. Oh, <laughs> didn't miss many. Kind of like I used to cut hair too. Every time I think about the fact that I went to school to be a hairdresser, did it for a week, knew I wasn't going to like it when I went into school. Wasn't my cup of tea. Um, and when I got out of school and did it for a week, I decided there was no way it was my cup of tea. Hated it. Um, that's what my daughter-in-law does now. I used to do my kids, cut their hair and do all that kind of stuff, but I didn't like working in the business. I don't really know why. I think I was too, too young and too immature to really know what I wanted or what I liked to do. I just kind of did it so I could move. I wanted to move to the big city. Came from a very little, little city in a, and this was, this is the capital. And to me, um, this was a hot spot back in the 60s. So man, the minute I got the opportunity to move and live here, thought I died and went to heaven. Loved it, didn't like school. So I never did it. There we go. And time for a haircut on this side. Yep, the fringe on the seat. Um, I have one light, light more Cinderella I'm going to do, and then I'm going to sh show you what I did to the rest of them. I know I did a couple while filming, but... There was just too many to do all of them, 13 of them. And I have to say, this is my last and I'm officially done with one of my seven orders that I'm working on and have been working on nonstop at night. Only at night is, remember I got my, no, I shouldn't say only at night. I've been doing it during the day during nap time. Okay, so we got her done. Um, and what am I going to do to her? There is not a whole lot of options with her at all. So, let me see. Let me ponder here. There is no options in this one at all. There's nothing that sticks out of my head. And so, let me see. That is way too bright. And that other one is fuchsia. I'm not going to do that, and she may be one, guys, that I'm not going to do anything to. I'm not going to add any fibers or fabrics or anything. I've got her glittered up, but her dress isn't that full to really add any trim, and the way that she's standing just doesn't provide me a spot to, well, I suppose a little spatula would have been better. I've got one dot of glitter here. Oh. And only me. And it always happens on camera. I shouldn't say always. It happens to me all the time. Maybe I'll put a little um I think a little trim. No, because I got her trimmed out in gold. So I'm not going to put silver on her. Hmm. 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 Guess I'm not going to do anything to her, hun. She's going to be as is, all glittered up and glossy. All of them have glosses on their faces, all of them. And now, okay, so I have the one, then we have the one that I just did. Of course, it's got all the glossies on it as well. And just the fringe you just saw me do on Belle here. Um, what I did is took this yarn that I've used before to do the, the braid on Elsa. I used this and pulled it apart and did the fur trim on her cape because she had white fur all the way around her cape. So that's what I did with that one. And with this one, Belle, um, she's got these gold little flowers, gems that I put in the spot on each one of the buttons that was on her dress because her dress is kind of um, lifted or about, I uh, can't think of what it's even called, but I put one of these on each one where there was a button. And 
I used the lace around the bottom, but I used the triple layer lace. And so I made her peg taller so that when she's in here, this, this doesn't, this stays full instead of getting all crunched up. And I didn't want to put it higher on her because I didn't want to cover any more of her dress. That's what I did on her. And this one you saw me do where I put the ruffle on the bottom of the dress. And that Snow White you saw me do. Um, the white, I've got the white Cinderella. <laughs> uh, so self-entertained, I tell you what. I just laugh at all the goof-ups. Anyway, on this one, I did the white tulle with the white um, little flower up there. You'd already seen the blue one, I think. I showed you the blue one that had the tulle and then the blue flower up here. And I move this over onto the glass. It's in my way, my glue gun, and I'm afraid of it. Leaking hot glue somewhere. Okay, they saw the Snow White. And this one, I didn't put any on tool on her. However, I put gems in her headpiece and in, right here on her dress as a gem. And then right here on her, the front of her little pant, the, the skirt thing she has on. There's, there's teal gems on it. And then she's all glittered up. And this one, I ended up putting gold um, beads, like pearls here around outlining her top of her suit and right here at the hip and then the crown I did on her there of course they're all again um glittered and embellished and the the quality of this particular file of her is unbelievable the resolution has to be in the thousands because the, the print is unbelievable so when I put the glossy on the mouth I, I just love it. Then we have Belle here with um, the lace on her dress again. I don't remember if I did this on film or not. I think I did. Yes, because I, oh, wow. And yes, the hot glue gun, whoever it was that told me to take the hot glue gun and not hot glue gun, the hot glue, um, not the hot glue, the heater, the dry, the hot air dryer, the Whatever it is, not the heat gun either. Um, I have it, but I can't think of what it is. On her, she was sitting on a stool that was kind of like a, a, a stone or whatever. And I just did it like a stool, a dressing room stool and put a skirt on it. Then I added some of these greens, which I've not had any use for because of the color. I was so excited because now I got to use them and outline that on that aerial. And then this is the one you just saw me do with the gold glitter on the, the pink tool that I put on there and the gold flower in her, on her waist. And that was it for this one. Um, I will be back though, because I'm gonna be working on a Prince theme and watch me duck under. Um, and I probably will be doing that right after this. But thanks so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed my my all over the place <laughs> that I am. I don't care, guys. I'm all good. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to try and turn this off on the first shot. Wish me luck. Bye-bye.